Hi, my name is Tom Patsis. This is Cold Hard Art, and we're just gonna give you a little more of an in-depth tour of the place now that we're kind of moved in to our bigger shop. So come on inside. So this is supposed to be the front room. Because we have a shop, we have an overhead door, it's usually open. Everybody comes to the back. It's very rare we get anybody that comes in the front door. So this is supposed to be like a display area, showroom, whatever you want to call it. So here's a couple samples of trophies that we make. Got the Thor hammer. Of course, we got a set of weld wheels. It really makes no sense, but it will make sense soon. Um, a couple of things we make. Like I said, I try to make uh, a spare trophy to have to show people when they come by asking for something to make. Obviously, we have the um, yes, the mannequin that scares everybody. Uh, the the I guess you call it the wheelchair. If someone had gave me, it's kind of funny. Made a two semi truck uh, alloy wheels. So I mean, it's just cool. It's very empowering. You know, heavy. It ain't gonna move. It's just quite comfortable. I mean, 24. I think it's a 24. Maybe it's a 22 and a half inch wheel. Hold on. I don't know. I can't read upside down. Doesn't matter. So that's one of the things we make. This is Amanda's office again. It's still progress when it's just a husband and wife combo trying to make the set the world on fire. It's a lot of work to try to get everything done you want. So this is kind of her office. She likes uh, Nissan Skylines a certain year, you know, last year of 2002. This is her collection. She's had this for like 20 years or whatever. That's her baby. Um, you know, we got all kinds of stuff. So her office is her area. She can do whatever she wants. At least she's got a couch, you know, with a baby, you got baby stuff, so, you know, again, nothing is just the way you want it just yet, so, I even, look, I haven't even put up, you know, all these, like, things of magazines we've been in, I haven't even been able to put that in the wall yet, I mean, that's sad, but, you know, it's when you're, when you're, you know, work by yourself, or it's just two people, this is going to be Luna's room, you know, her, her day room. Her nursery, Amanda's painting the walls again. It's hard to keep up with everything when you gotta do stuff, but it's a good problem to have because we're busy. So, all right. So now we're in the shop area. This is the 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 bathroom. You know, it's sometimes clean. Hold on, let me check. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got my nitrous bottle. You know, spare toilet paper. Hidden. We got Scott Speed right there. Now he's Subaru. That's gonna be confusing. Um, magazines, up there. you got the first aid kit, which you always got to have. I'm not paying $15 a week for it though. Um, so then we got this whole area, and then right here, the two things I'm very proud to have. I got Ernie Irvin's 1997 10th anniversary hood. That right there is a holy grail for anybody who collects junk. For me, being an Ernie Irvin fan, having that, that's cool. And then we got the hang in there kitten poster. You gotta love that, you know what I'm saying? So my weakness, if it, it, it'll It'll make sense when we go through here more. It's collecting just just race junk. Luke Johnson, that, that's a cool thing. He's one of our buddies. We went to one of the races out in Chicago to get that one signed. That's cool. We got some uh, Ron Caps uh, stuff. I mean, when the nose and the tail meet or on the same plane like that, that's that's a bad situation. But but that's just, you know, junk. More Ernie Irvin stuff. Some Craftsman truck. We got some Jack Beckman stuff from when he blew up, I think, in 2008. 14. This one's cool. Ernie Irvin stuff. Had to drive 300 miles and paid $300 for this. But it's got a donut. That's just cool. A little piece off of Cruz Pedregon's car. You know, the hatch. It's kind of kind of funny. He wants you. Gringo. Kind of funny stuff. Got a bearing out of like a satellite down in Brazil or something. Some massive thing. Just one of those, one of those grand things. All a little junk. Like, I don't, I make trophies. I don't win a lot of trophies myself. But back at night, I'm still upset. Runner-up, 1946, girls basketball. I'm going to get that back someday, I swear. I'm going to find that lady. And so there's just random stuff that's around here. So even if you're not into metal art and welding, at least there's something for you to pay attention. It's like an old museum. You know, all this random stuff. You know, like a, a double-headed camshaft. <laughs> yeah, baby. What's up? Got my wrench. Got There's just junk. Like a race car driver has multiple helmets, like Tommy Johnson and Antron. I got all these different paint job helmets you only got one head I hope and so you know stuff like this I mean yeah it's I'm just a welder but you can still look cool right I'm not even into chrome but I just think this stuff's cool you know it's just cool because how many other people have a chrome welding helmet so you know I'm not gonna have gold shoes because like oh the best driver in the world 
but I can at least have a chrome helmet. So Austin Poland paints a lot of our stuff because he's just good and he's a super nice guy. So check out Austin Poland's stuff on any social media, stuff like that. I even got my first welding helmet from back in like, what, 2000? And you know, what do you do? You put stickers on it. That's what you normally do as a normal person. So old Hobart, it probably still works, whatever. But we got to it's okay. It's okay. It's it's just uh let's put that back up here right there. That was embarrassing. Alright, so I've got a forklift. You have to have a forklift when you have a lot of heavy stuff. Like all these all these uh, transmission shafts from a NASCAR team. And here's the secret to a here's the secret to a good marriage. RC cars for his and hers. Okay, Amanda's is a little whatever, but mine was in the water and it's still good, so yeah. alright, so this will save a marriage right here because she gets to wreck you. You get to chase her around a little bit. It's kind of fun. I'm just suggesting it. Even if even if either one of you doesn't like RC car, get one. You start wrecking each other, you'll love it. It's fun. You'll probably have a second kid because of it. Uh, the forklift, that was really exciting. Now we're in the work area right here. Obviously, this is where the magic happens. Uh, I mean, got a Subaru, 1988 uh, Subaru. Suburban rear seat. Got the roll around frame, you know, for the guests to watch the television. That that was my wife's idea, put the TV up. So you got all the tools, got everything here with a mix of leisure for people so they can sit down and chill. But this is where everything is. You can see I got I got three sprint cars going right now. Got my Miller welder, a little nub, a little 210 dynasty, gets it done. That's cool. I got this right here. This is the secret. This is this is what makes it all happen. Got no air right now, but this little Dynafile, this is the bomb right here. Yeah, it's about five or six hundred dollars. Gets in some tight little spaces, so. And you, we kind of reuse some stuff all over the place. Luna's, Luna's having a little meltdown, but it'll be all right. Let me show you the dirty room. And I mean, it's actually dirty. It's not like, there's no pornographic material in here or anything. It's just where all the, anything that makes dust and dirt and whatever. We got the bandsaw. It used to be a wood band saw and I converted it to a steel so I slowed it down, kind of cool. And you got all the, all the stuff in here. And then you got the artifacts, the wall art. Another, another hard thing to get. Ernie Irvin's 1995. Raced three times that year. Got the roof off it. And I think it's signed by Robert Yates. But this is more important to me right here. That, that right there, that's collectible. You'll have to pull that off my dead fingers when I'm dead. So we got, we got Matt Hagen stuff. Um, oh, this one's cool. This one right here from earlier, is it this year? I can't even remember. Things are blending in together. Mm -hmm. So when Johnny Lindbergh and John Force uh, had a little interaction at the end of the track when they, uh, he blew up and he went in his lane and hit him. So the cool part is he did, he did have a chaw sticker on it. And it just happens to be where John Force's rear tire, left rear tire, as you can see the black and the yellow, drove over his car. So we cut that whole car up, you know, got rid of all the panels, but that one, that one's meaningful because he, you know, he, you know, it's just cool. So then we got some other stuff. We got Ari Jr. We got Kyle. Got a piece of Landon Simon, my boy. He's from Ohio, which is, we're not going to hold that against him, but this is the dirty room. This is what makes all the mess, keeps all the dust off of it. Because anybody knows you cut one two by four in any shop, by the end of the day, everything is covered in dust. Everything. All this. This is all from one two by four, one time. Not really, but whatever. All right, that's the dirty one. And I got my tungsten grinder. That thing's the bomb. It's not for everybody, but when you weld every day, it is for you then, so. All right, got the meat curtains. Make your jokes. All right, so then obviously, like I said, toolbox, stereo, the stickers of everybody that we've we've dealt with it's kind of like this is like a visual resume of all the people that we've done work for or work with so that one that one that's you only put special stickers on things that you're going to keep forever and hopefully you're going to keep your toolbox forever so or a locker or whatever from the airport all right so let's see what else we got here we got that which is an interesting conversation piece there's a giant bottom half of two fuel cells that was a good idea to weld them together um, but that's just up there I mean it's we've only had one incident with it and then there's other junk we've got BMX bikes the wheels the wheels from this bike right here are from where uh, Larry Dixon crashed in I think 2015 at Gainesville so those wheels have bad mojo now because they've been on a wrecked car so now they're on a BMX bike 
And so we got more junk. Everything's in buckets. These are just easy. You don't overload a bucket, so you can, you know, get all this stuff in here. It could be valve springs. It could be lots of spark plugs to to lower end studs, big boy studs. And then there's tools everywhere. And then everything, all the spare used junk is up top. It's got ladder. It's got rolling rolling stairs. Some wheels, some valve springs. Those two boxes right there, those engine crates, they're full of spark plugs. We got the mill. Then we got this. This is kind of a cool thing. This is actually Robert North's bike. It used to be a 1985 Hutch. And now it's one of a kind single-sided front and rear with hydraulic brakes BMX bike. And the cool part about this is, it's a little secret that most people don't know, is the rear brakes are on the left side. So when you're rolling down the street looking cool, you can be texting <laughs> and Instagram. It's it's sad, I know, but it's the way the life we live now. So, and then we got more truck wheels over here for more potential stools or wheelchairs. And here's another set of wheels we got from Lewis, the LAP racing. And then the small junk has to be organized because you can't put this in buckets. It'd be a nightmare to try to organize. So these little things, which these are really expensive, you go to buy them for $1,200. So we got some ARP nuts and washers and we got bolts and just anything that's teeny that you get a lot of gears and stuff like that. So those come in quite handy. And then there's the normal trays and stuff. Uh, there's some more uh, trophies we'll be building over there. A table is just a mess right now. Um, and then this, this thing right here is kind of fun. This is, this is Craig Striegel of Leading Edge's fault. Oh, I have, I have a shifter cart and Luna's gonna have a meltdown again. And so, so he got me into, oh, you should get a cart. It'll be fun. We can race. Oh, yeah, whatever. Like, we either of us have time. So now we have, you know, all this junk. And let me tell you, if you get into cart racing and you get a cart from, like, the 2000s, I've learned that a lot of companies that made parts for these back then, they don't exist. So I'm having a nightmare trying to get parts and pieces that I have, and I need some new seals and new brake pads or all these little things that you need, little trinkets. They're very hard to get, so just be aware of what you buy. You may be stuck with it for the rest of your life. Um, so that's a fun little project. All these panels back here are off of Cruz Pedagon's car that we had chopped up earlier. Um, we're going to make a coffee table out of that, like we've done. Um, these cars on the wall are the half... Uh, the other half of it got chopped up and turned into a coffee table. Um, so but that's cool just to have it. I mean, how many people have half a funny car body? I mean, $70,000. So seventy dollars grand right there, if you count that. So, um, and then obviously, when you have an online store, you have to have boxes. So Amanda is very organized. She's got everything labeled from her Vance and Hines days when she was a shipping manager. This is what you got to have. You gotta have boxes. So not everything is all sexy and having race car parts and stuff like that. You gotta have boxes. You got more camshafts, uh, coffee table parts up here, uh, more wheels, and then there's just, I mean, then we got this. Just, just don't breathe near it. The stack of turbo housings. We got some trophies we gotta make soon, so that's, that's the best way to organize that right there. Uh, and oh look, here's another shifter cart. Thanks, Craig. Or at least it looks cool. Oh, let me move this pile of damaged junk. So we got that. I barely even sat in that thing. So, And then you got the MIG welding area. And let me tell you about that compressor right there. Yes, it has a $700 K&N filter on it. And you think, man, that bad boy must perform. No, I'm surprised it hasn't kicked on right now because this is the most annoying air compressor ever. And you can tell me, oh, it's easy to rebuild. No. When I get a new one to replace that, which is hopefully quieter and a little more volume, we're dropping that one from an airplane. So if you have an airplane and the ability to get that on there, we're dropping that from it. I don't want to have to sell it because I don't want the punishment of someone else having to deal with that thing. It's just loud. It works, but it's just loud. It's like an annoying younger brother. So yeah. And then, let's see, what else we got here? More junk. We got the shipping area. Thank God these are, these are leaving. As you see, big amount of trophies. So here's a couple of the items that we have. We don't have them all. I always have to, you know, refresh this. Um, but stuff like, you know, the little, little production stuff. Like a mini drag tree. <laughs> She's just not happy today. A mini drag tree from an uh, exhaust valve out of a fuel car. Uh, a titanium cross. If you ever cross, you know, even a pencil holder. Made out of synchronizers out of a cup car. So, 
Uh, there's all kinds of little things. There's the rose. I've made a bazillion of these, so these are very popular. Ever roses. Flowers never go out of style. Uh, we do have t-shirts, stuff like that, you know. Another, another thing that we have in our store. So there's a lot of stuff, but I just wanted to show you. Oh, and then this. Spark plugs. A lot of them. We consume a lot of spark plugs here. So this will probably be gone probably after Christmas. So that's cool. Uh, but I just wanted to share that. The shop is not even close to where I want it. It's, there's a lot, it's a work environment. When you have a little have a little girl and she, she's, she's needy and she wants mama and she, she doesn't like dad, there's a lot of work to do in between. So from, from having no logos on the front yet to getting this stuff shipped out, to filling this shelf out, to finishing these trophies. For two people to do all that, I feel like we're doing pretty good. So I, I, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all the support of everything that you guys do for us. And it make me want to do stuff better. And there's a lot of metal artists out there now that are starting to do this. That ups the game because competition only makes you better or sadly bitter. Um, so, but I just want you to enjoy the video. And uh, if you're in town, if you're in Brownsburg, Indiana, please stop by. I'm usually here every day but Sunday because I don't believe you have to live or work in a country where you have to work on Sunday. So take that day off. All right. Thank you very much.